Hi friend, welcome to the Live Study channels again. Today we are discuss about the Spring Boot interview question and answer. Okay, so let's start. What is difference between Spring and Spring Boot? It's a very most important question. Okay, Spring Boot. A web application framework based on a Java, but a module of Spring is a Spring Boot. Provide tools and libraries to create a customized web applications used to create a Spring application project, which can just run and execute in a Spring Boot. Spring is the most complex than Spring Boot. Spring Boot is a less complex than the Spring framework. Text and opinionate view in a Spring, but text and opinionate view of a platform in a Spring Boot. Okay. Move to the another question. Another question is, what is the the advantage of Spring Boot? The various advantage, like the first advantage, is provide auto configuration. To load a set of default configuration for a quick start of the application, creates a standalone application with a range of non-functional features that are common to large classes of projects. It comes to embedded Tomcat sublet containers directly to avoid the usage of WAR file. Spring Boot provides an opinionated view to reduce the developer effort and simplicity. Simplify Maven configuration provides command line tools to develop and test applications. Common commons with the Spring Boot starter to ensure dependency management and also provide various security metrics. Consider consists of all a wide range of APIs for monitoring and managing application in a develop and production. Integrated. With the Spring ecosystem like Spring JDBC, Spring OMR, Spring Data, Spring Security, easily by avoiding avoiding boiler boiler plate code. This is a very most important advantage. Okay, so don't be so. That move to the another question. Another question is. What is the feature feature of new feature of Spring Boot? Few important feature of Spring Boot are as a follow. Spring Boot command line allow you to grab you for write writing a Spring Boot application and avoid boilerplate code. Start a dependency with the help of this feature. Spring Boot aggregate common dependencies to together and eventually improve productivity. Spring Initializer. This is the basically a web application which can create an internal project structure for you. Means if you want create a web uh, Spring Boot project means and uh, with the Maven project, then definitely you should go on start dot spring dot io. It's a it's a URL base. Okay, then so you uh, so you do not have to manually set up the structure of the project. Is it you can use these features? Auto configuration. The auto configuration feature of Spring Boot help in loading the default configuration according to the project you are working on. In this way, you can avoid any unnecessary WAR file. Means you. Means you can avoid unnecessary. Means if you want remove, means unnecessary. Means some uh, some features and some libraries uh, don't use in this project. Definitely, you should remove. Okay. And another point is the uh, Spring Accurator. Is this feature uh, provides help uh, help while running Spring Boot applications. 
login and security the login and security feature of spring boot ensure that all the applications made using the spring boot are properly secure without any hassle okay move to the another question another question is explain how to create a spring boot application using maven well there are various approach to create a spring boot applications using maven but if i have to name a few then following are the way to create a spring boot project applications using maven the first the spring boot command line second is spring starter project wise means using uh, is a is a build in uh, this surface uh, spring starter project is a build in the eclipse also and the second uh, the third is a spring initializer like a http start start dot spring dot io and a spring maven project okay move to the another question okay no issue it's a very much important question for the interview room and you know is a is a is this question means this question is maintain the minimum requirement for a spring boot system is a spring boot system is a minimum requirement like a spring boot is a version of re release 2.1.7 required and a java 8 plus means java 8 plus i think you have you don't have knowledge in a 8 like 1.8 definitely you should go on and uh, collect the knowledge about and work on 1.8 means it's a very most important question sir lambda expression is a 1.8 properties it's like um, lambda expression like a, uh, suppose is a very most important question create on this is a, what is a lambda expression okay so means the lambda expression it is used to pass the implementation of functional interface method implementation okay it's a very most important question question is what is the lambda expression lambda expression is a, it is a used to pass the implementation of functional interface method implementation this is a very most important question create in this question means what is a functional interface functional interface is a, functional interface means having at least one and only one abstract method declaration it can contain default or static method of any number of times means at least in a functional interface at least one method at least one uh, one method have a strict method declaration okay and default method and static method if you want is a many number of times you have created it's a very most important two questions are created is a, what is a lambda expression and the second question is a functional interface means lambda expression it is used to pass the implementation of the functional interface method implementation and the second question is functional interface is a functional interface means having one and only one abstract method declaration it can contain default and static method num any number of okay so it's a is a lambda expression is uh, i will discuss about i will um, May, i will discuss about the lambda expressions it means the 1. Point, uh, java 1.8 feature means one part is a lambda expression is a so many uh, parts uh, ab ab available in the 1.8 the definitely i will detail uh, explain in a uh, another video okay so is a spring just move back move back okay spring framework 5.1.9 Okay, explicit build support like a Maven 3.3 plus, above Gradle 4.4, Sublet container support, Tomcat 9.0, and Tomcat 9.0, Sublet version 4.0, Jetly Jetly 9.4, Sublet version 3.1, under 2 2.0, Sublet version 4.0. It's a minimum requirement for the Spring Boot application or Spring Boot system. Okay, no issue. Move to the another question. another question is uh, can we change to port of the embedded tomcat server in a spring boot is a very most important question so answer is s why so why because of you can change the port of the Im embedded tomcat server by using the application property file 
in this file you have to add a property of the server dot port and assign it to any port you you wish to you wish to for example if if you want to assign it the 8081 then you have to maintain so server dot port is equal to 8085 once you maintain the port number the application property file will be automatically loaded by spring boot and required configuration will be applied on this application okay okay question is how to enable http 2 support in a spring boot you can enable the http 2 support in a spring boot by server.http2. dot enabled is equal to true and the programming language also you can create a is just tomcat customize class and also create the reference of tomcat is a web server factory and dot add the variable dot add connector customize connect dot add upgrade prototype protocol is a new http2 protocol and then return the is a very value then you should enable the http2 request okay okay move to the another question another question is what are the request mapping and other it re request controller sorry sorry i am also uh, repeat this question means what are the other it request mapping and other it rest controller annotation in a spring boot used for means the difference between okay so request mapping this annotation is used to provide the routing information and tells to spring that any http request must be mapped to the respective method okay and the rest controller this annotation is used to add at the rate rest response body and at the rate controller annotation to the class means request mapping is uh, declared in a method but and uh, uh, rest controller is uh, declared in a class another difference is that to use this annotation you have to import org.springframework.web and to also the same to use the annotation you have to import org.springframework.web bind.annotation.request mapping bind.annotation.rest controller for example for example consider you have a method employee details which should map with the embedded uh, emp details url Means, means, which I have, which uh, you can create. You can, we can create the package dot com live studies import is a like a web and the binding request, request mapping rest controller. At the you use the at the rate, rest controller is the class create the class and the request in the mapping through the is a method. Okay, and then return the welcome to the live study. Okay. Move to the another question. Okay, question is what does the is what does the either it is Spring Boot application annotation do internally? As for the Spring Boot doc documentation, the either it is Spring Boot application annotation is equivalent to using the either it configuration, either it enable auto configuration, and the component scanner, which with their default attribute spring boot enable the developer to use a single annotation in need of using multiple but as we we know spring provided loosely couple feature that we can use the each individual annotation as for our project needed okay and uh, just i'm not uh, write down is another question but another question is just i am telling about just i am uh, is in uh, this session actually just i mind the clicking the another very most important question is uh, means what uh, mention the what the the pos 
possible source of internal configuration it is a possible yeah definitely in a spring boot definitely there is no doubt in this in this fact that spring boot allow the developers to run the same application in a different environment well this this is done with the support it provide for external configuration it use environment variable properties files command line argument yml files and system properties to maintain the required configuration property to maintain the required required configuration property also the at the rate value annotation is used to gain access to the properties so the most possible source of external configuration are as the following like a Applica uh, application properties means by default Spring Boot search for the application property file or it YML file in the current direct uh, directory class path root or configure directory to load it the property. Okay, another is the command line properties. Spring Boot provide command line property and convert this argument to properties then it add them the set of environment properties environment properties another is a profile specific properties these pro pro properties are loaded from the application okay the properties file are it yml this file reside in the same location location as this location as of as that of non specific property file and the profile is a placeholder refer and achieve properties okay so i will discuss is a more interview question based on spring boot is a next video so thank you thank you for watching this video and also